The Alicorn certainly didn't expect this, whatever this was, to be part of her afternoon break. Her mother had barged into her room and led her into the basement, past the carefully sealed and maintained cases of artifacts and historic tomes, past the portraits of long-dead family matriarchs and imported figures, and past the old escape tunnel leading out of Canterlot. The house matriarch wore a fitted black sweater complete with a hood, which, while the alicorn thought looked good on her, went way past what she knew her mother usually wore. The unicorn stopped, knocked on the wall, and watched her daughter gape as a section of wall swung open with a groan, revealing a gaping maw of blackness. The unicorn grabbed her daughter with her magic, pulled her in, and slammed the door shut before flicking the lights on. Ow! Twilight Sparkle raised a hoof to shield her eyes. Mom, what are we doing here? Oh, nothing, honey. Twilight Velvet's sweet voice bounced off the basement's whitewashed cinder block walls as she threw open a bunch of lockers. Steel clanged against steel and concrete as the unicorn began digging her hooves into whatever she kept inside those lockers. Meanwhile, her alicorn daughter rubbed her eyes and she fell back on her haunches, ears twitching at the sounds her mother made as she searched the contents of the steel locker. Uh-huh! Velvet cried out among the ringing of her magic and the metallic clicking sounds made by whatever she was holding. There you are! Finally, Sparkle opened her eyes and glared blearily at her mother. They widened, and the alicorn got back to her hooves. Mom! What are you- What? That's a- How did- What? Her mother cradled the Thrushian assault rifle in her forelegs as if it were her own baby. She kissed it atop the iron sights and passed it over to her own daughter, who held it in her magic as she stared. Scratch her, and you're grounded forever, Velvet said, turning back to her arm's locker. If you jam her, double grounded forever. This was supposed to be Daring Do's birthday gift. Sparkle ever so gently held onto the rifle and grimaced. Daring Do? You, you know Dare- Shush! Velvet pulled all manner of armaments from her locker, inspecting them with a critical eye. To answer your question, yes, I knew Daring Do. Of course, I have no idea what that mare's up to now. We don't explore the far reaches of Equestria together anymore. Let's just chalk that up to creative differences. But hey, at least you get to have her rifle. Velvet returned the guns to the locker none of them having passed whatever metric she had in mind. Eventually, Velvet settled on a wide-barreled apparatus and cracked the breech open. She smiled, picked up a 40mm grenade, and slammed it home a sparkle gate. The breech swung closed, and the elder twilight slung it on her back beside her black saddlebags. Okay, now let's get your father back. Small audiobook teaser for Daring Did, Tales of an Adventurer's Companion, by Seraph Pilcrow and Admiral Q. Daring Did and Tales of an Adventurer's Companion is an upcoming fanfiction series that aims to breathe new life into a once popular headcanon. That Twilight Velvet, Twilight Sparkle's mother, was directly involved with Daring Do and her adventures. Travel with Daring Do and Twilight Velvet across Equestria and beyond as they uncover treasures of old, battle dangerous foes, and discover the knowledge their world's past has to offer. The story, pictures, concept, editing, and narration in this audiobook teaser were done by Seraph Pilker. The script was written by Admiral Q. A special thanks to Gina M for voicing both Twilight Sparkle and Twilight Velvet. Additional credits are found in the description of this video. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.